Well, welcome back everybody. It's a quiet evening here across South Mississippi. We're sitting at 41 degrees right now at Jones College in Ellisville. The winds are relaxing a little bit, but still it's cold enough that we got a wind chill of 38 degrees up there tonight. Let's head out to Petro Nissan now, where it's currently 46 degrees. Winds are out of the north at seven. A quiet night there. All around the region, temperatures continue to fall. We're slipping down into the low 40s and into the upper 30s here. Uh, 42 out towards Sumrall right now. The coldest spot, McGee and Raleigh, both are at 39. It's 45 in Petal, 47 out towards Brooklyn, and 43 out towards Foxworth. The rest of this evening, temperatures will continue to fall down into the low 40s and eventually in into the upper 30s here. It's going to be a bitterly cold night. Well, how cold? Well, this cold. We're going to make it down into the low 20s by tomorrow morning. So we're looking extremely cold once again. This will definitely make it down to hard freeze territory and we will slowly warm up tomorrow, but tomorrow is still going to be a very cold day. 24 in the morning we will eventually make it up to 40 by lunchtime for your Saturday. So we're definitely looking cold on Saturday. Uh, the wind gusts across the area are going to make it uh, feel even colder and we can see winds gusting between about 10 to 20 miles an hour. So it's definitely going to feel very chilly for your Saturday, but the coldest air will hold off until uh, Saturday night and into Sunday morning. That's when we're going to make it down to right around 20 degrees. We're going to see some upper teens north of Hattiesburg, so it's definitely going to be very cold. But after Saturday night and into Sunday morning, we're going to begin to warm things up. In fact, Sunday afternoon rebounding to the mid 40s and we're going to continue to warm things up as we go deeper into next week. So what we're going to see here is this temperatures warm up from the low 40s all the way up into the 60s and eventually the low 70s as we head into your afternoon uh, as we go into Wednesday. So we're definitely going to notice a big warming trend next week, which is good news for all of you who are just tired of this bitter cold. But we're also going to see the return of rain showers as well. Tuesday and Wednesday are looking rainy here across the area and we're going to see several waves of rain beginning Tuesday into Wednesday and this is something that's going to stick around for much of next week too. Wednesday, Thursday, even into Friday and even into Saturday. So we're going to see multiple rainy days here across the region. Thankfully, though, nothing looking severe at this time. But again, we're going to get some good rainfall totals anywhere from maybe two to three, possibly up to four inches with some of these rainfall uh, situations as we go into next week. So we're definitely going to see a lot of rain here, but that's going to be beneficial rain. But uh, temperatures warm up. But again, before we get to the warm temperatures, we got to go through another hard freeze. And for exactly what is a hard freeze? Let's toss it to Rex. Yeah, Patrick, that's right. A hard freeze is 28 degrees for four hours or longer. And we're certainly going to see that tonight and again on Saturday night. So what do you need to do? Well, there are four P's. The four P's you got to take care of. Uh, pipes cover or drip pipes or faucets. Run your pool pumps. Uh, bring pets inside. Shelter your livestock. Make sure they have something warm to get near like hay or something like that. And make sure their water is not frozen. Keep that in mind. Uh, plants, obviously, plants are probably not a big concern right now. But covering the remaining plants you have or bring them in and tender plants for sure. And one more thing, check on the elderly or those outside in need. Guys, back to you. All right, thank you. And weather, we're just a few days.